Okay, and this is game number one of the Castle Cup final. It is Goreflow versus Saber. And the first two decks up are... Well, we've got a Nilfgaard Mirror. Interesting. So Goreflow opting to bring Nilfgaard on blue and Saber opting to go for Nilfgaard on red. What do you think of this, Mr. Influence? Well, so this is interesting because, right, we've got two different leaders here. Um, Goreflow playing the the tactic leader, right, and Slave, which gives him access to pretty powerful cards like Hefty Helg. Mm -hmm. um, or Saber opting for Imprisonment and attacking Pyreball. <laughs> yep. Uh, so it's interesting to see what happened here, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, we do just... see a kind of... In Interesting card in uh, Gorflow's hand here. Um, we see the Cadaverine, the new card. Mm -hmm. Which, what, um, what are your takes on that new card? Uh, so I think it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, but it can be very good. It can be like good, but it's usually pretty bad. What did Saber just discard then? Saber opting to discard a card. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a Master of Disguise. Um, okay. I mean, that's a pretty nice draw for Goreflow off of uh, his Diplo. Yeah, pretty good. So what do you so make of this, the... this opening from Goreflow, like committing the Hefty Helg immediately to, to secure round one? Because it does look like he will secure round one with this now. Do you think it's you need to win round one, or do you <sighs> think committing the Helg is like expensive? Or I think maybe with those... The thing is, I'd be tempted to say he needs to, just because of the... Uh, enforcers, but then again, he had probably has answers to all the enforcers, right? So I don't, I don't really yeah. know that it's necessary and, and the other to thing is, is from one side. Saber's not running a joust, and he's also only got two locks in his deck. He's not running the five yeah. P locks. So. Then again, his leader is a lock. True. Uh, you do lose three points by locking the Helg, but you it is still worth it because yeah. Helg's ridiculously good. Uh, so Saber going for the discard play here, probably to deny uh, any clog. He's just gonna. Discard mm -hmm. three cards and then pass, probably. Um, mm -hmm. Just want to make sure that no. code weapons can't come down. I think what we might end up seeing in round three is an overswarm. And uh, if that is the case, if both players do swarm extremely hard in round three, it's actually better to be going first. Oh, no, go flow. Go flow. Go oh, flow. Go flow. oh, no, go flow. Oh, no. I'm not sure I agree with that play now. I know obviously he hit the Usurper, which yeah. is really bad, but I mean, I guess the Even one... Even taking the Joachim. The one upside to this line is what does Saber do if Goreflow passes next turn? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think... He yeah, probably, I He mean... has to commit both Brethens and Ramon, right? True. Very true. But, I mean... Uh, he doesn't. Okay, he's got the poison, which might be <laughs> Doesn't have a secondary poison, but Gorflo doesn't know that. I think Gorflo has to take the pass here, so... Yeah, it's an interesting position here. I think... Saber's fine committing the wrong Ramona Brathens after what's been committed on Gorflo's side, honestly, but... Yeah, for sure. I wonder if he even has to commit the Brathens. He might not... Have to. I think double enforcer, one spy. No, probably not. Probably has to be Brathens. Mm -hmm. Okay, he played the Roderick and hit the poison. Oh, and he hits a poison. Yeah, that's really big. Never snip from the master's table. Never. So what? He had Emir, Usurper. Yen was really good there. Joachim, Yen. Yeah. And Koo in deck? Yeah. Going for that Yen was, was very, he a, like... He had a few but, bad but, hits, but obviously he had two really good hits, right? So. And Koo basically acted like a another chance ah, for yeah, a reroll. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So... I think yeah. it was a fairly safe... Yeah. Um, I think this Yen is... would have been ridiculously good, though. I think this has gone pretty badly here for Goreflow. Not yeah, ideal. he traded uh, his usurper Joachim uh, Helg for a Ramon and a Roderick. Which, if 
Saber really draws badly. Could be a. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's maybe a win condition for for Gorfler here. But look, look how Saber's just going to pass. Go to long round three. I mean, Saber doesn't have an option um, in there. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, he has no option. Yeah, exactly. I wonder what the target for this Cadaverine is going to be. I don't, I don't. Off the top of my head, I don't really. Usurper. Maybe. Uh, maybe Emir. Emir. Yeah, Emir. Yeah. Um, you can also potentially just poison. Yeah, Dame is even quite yeah. quite strong, right? Yeah, any of the engines, um, like a, even a Enforcer could be okay, potentially. So yeah, Mirror Match probably representing the best, um, or one of the best uses could have, right? Potentially. Um, I wonder what must have captured this time. I think this may end up coming down to an over swarm, though, right? Like both players might end up... Possibly. There is a Usurper, uh, and a Roderick, and a Joachim already gone, though, and a Ramon. So there is a lot of Swarm gone out, but neither of them have thinned with their thinning 5Ps. I I don't think they'll be... I don't think they'll be over Swarming. Yeah, I think it'll be close, but... Yeah, they're both I'm not sure get rid of their thinning cards. The Saber's yeah. drawn into his Usurper, which is really nice. So now all he's missing is... Uwakin? He mulligans the enforcers knowing they're going to get answered, right? Uh, all the Scorpion engines been, yeah. are going to... Yeah. That's a big card in this match. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised to see that he held on to his um, thing. I mean, he has... He has Two poison, right? Cadaverine and, and the Fang, right? Oh, and yeah, then... true. Yeah, I forgot about Cadaverine. Oops. Yeah, um. So, I wonder what he opens with here. There's no real proactive play besides the ball. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe Menno into a battle prep if he has one of those? I'm not really sure. This is a bit... Doesn't run battle prep. Okay. Um, does, does have a second joust? I suppose, but. Yeah, I'm not really sure what his play here is. It's pretty much his only good tactic. I mean, he's got coded weapons, right? But don't ask a lady her age. It's unbecoming. Hmm. Also, what is Gorfler's Roderick hitting? I'm not sure there are um, many targets left. There's so a it single probably target. Probably one thing. No, there's nothing, right? The There's SD no yen. target, yeah. The SD yen. Yeah. Which is okay. Yeah, but that's fine. Okay. It's fine in the middle, yeah. yeah. generally. <laughs> I like this from Saber. Yep, yeah, he doesn't have to play his, anything. His ball, yeah. Can just remove the dame from Gulfo's side. Yeah, so this is doesn't a tricky... give uh, Gorfler much. To play anyway. Yeah, it's a tr it's tricky here for Gorfler, right? Because he doesn't really have any proactivity, and Saber's probably not going to give him anything to shoot at for those couple of turns. Although, I mean, I guess he doesn't really have any more plays after this that don't give Gorfler proactivity. So maybe like a joust here, and then he can be okay. Because I'm not sure what Saber play for me. Trouble is, spending his joust here is that he has iron engines that he wants to answer, right? Um, this Nausicaa, this Corsa, they they would be perfect targets for the Joust, but he has yeah. to do it. I mean, he's got the Menno, right? Yeah, he can ask for one. That's, that's true. And he's got a leader. Yeah. Also true. Nausicaa! Judge! I think this is a Menno turn, but knowing Gorf, yeah, he's probably, probably going to rope this out a little. Think about all his possible plays. Like you could also po poison this. Like there's no like that's probably going to be your best poison if you let it live. Yeah. The nice thing about Joust on Fangs is that you do have the um. Uh, what do you? What's it called? Experimental remedy, remedy. into into. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Thanks for if you want it. Uh, you also Brathens into a fang later on. Mm -hmm. Opens up your options in terms of poisoning a bit more. Um, yep, Gore Flow. Roping this one out. <laughs> and you decide to poison a better, that's the point. better option. Which I can somewhat yeah. maybe see. Like, yeah, I can see. If it stacks all its points into itself, and if you're expecting it forces, you'd rather joust them. I could honestly um, see Cadaverine, that too. Uh, you want to get the death blow from Cadaverine, right? You want to get the... Hmm? What's the death blow? Uh, is there only spawn a base copy if it... Is it a death blow, it? is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, <laughs> I'm not sure how this card works. I don't think so. I think it's oh, just... no, it's not. It's not. That's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm being stupid. Um, yeah, okay. So... Yeah, I could have seen that, actually. Uh, although it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he wouldn't have... Oh, I guess he would have got one point extra on the deploy. Mm -hmm. Because once you poison that, you commit to killing yeah, it Yes, so this should be the mana turn. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, he's leader in it by the looks of things. Hmm, interesting. I think he'll go leader of Cadaver in here. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so he lost a point there by not playing it the other way around. Could have a last turn. Banks this turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, save has no answer, so... Well, I guess he has lock. He has his leader, right? So... Mm -hmm. Saber is... I was going to say one poison over, but he's... I guess he's got Brathens. He's... Yeah, he's got he's got Brathens. He can actually get three more poisons with his hand, right? He can Brathens. Uh, he can use his uh, informants, and he can cure an informant because I think that's going to be there a dust. Is one punishment for traitors. Uh, I suppose not with the MA, maybe. Depends how if this MA lives, which I don't I think that MA is no, probably going to get the end. Probably, it's pretty powerful. I mean, obviously, we can see so. that he doesn't have. Ooh, that's nice. We got a bit that interaction. Yeah. That's... Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, we can see that he doesn't have Joachim, so it makes this Yen even better. But yeah, I think you have to take that Yen. Yep. Yeah, Saber would have, would have really liked to have drawn that Joachim. I, I mean, he did draw the Yen off of it, so he can't complain too much. Yeah, I suppose. But he does only have one Aristocrat here, right? Um, yes. So he needs to... Yes, Roderick. Yeah, uh, he, he, has, has, he has copies, he, right? He has copies. He has, well. Yeah, he can copy it, name. That's true. Superb specimen, truly. Yeah, uh, so this could be the Brathens. Probably the Mano Joust, honestly, though. Um, Question is, do you joust it or do you coated weapons it? Now, ob yeah. obviously, uh, obviously, if you coated weapons, it puts it to the top. So the question is, would you want to put it to the top for your human? I don't think you would, right? So you just joust it. Uh, no. Yeah, I think so. Could also honestly just be Roderick into Emir to get the Emir down immediately. Yeah. I think about Coated Weapons, it also doesn't put it in the graveyard, right? Um, it banishes it, so you don't get any remedy on it. Going for this line instead, which makes some sense, because now when the Emir does come off of the Roderick, he'll have more, right? He has another Dame. He has a Dame that will benefit from the Emir. Yeah. Yeah. So, are we going to see the Brathens here? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Uh, copying the Dame. The curse, but who and then completing the poison on the other Dame. Huh. 
So I, I kind of expect Saber to go for another dame off of one of these. Off of um. No, I think he takes another poison, right? Otherwise, he's he takes he takes one poison and Q Q's probably going on an informant, right? So, uh, Q's, Q can go on the um the fangs. Mm -hmm. So he takes the fangs for the one poison, and then he has the informant. For Not sure if that's better though, aim. because you lose all the assimilate and the spy. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. I like you can do the maths on it. It's pretty close. It's close, I think. So yeah. Dame would be what? It give you one extra simulate plus one extra spy. It's like plus it depends two. a lot on if you uh, think your Dame's and simulate engine's gonna live though. Yeah, uh, it's better well. to just take the fangs directly. Yeah. Sure. My duty. There's a whole lot of dames. These dames be thirsty. Yeah, it's a lot of dames. I wonder when this man is going to come down. If it's like, it's kind of missed this window, right? There's sort of yeah. Not much it's doing here. Yeah. <laughs> Has Gorfer still got a Q? No, he just played it last time. Oh, yeah. What is it you want? Okay, so you have to yoink back. Tail and beg for mercy. Some stuff here. Not a great draw. Obviously, it doesn't really matter what he puts back here. He's probably pulling whatever he doesn't with mana, right? <laughs> Yeah, most likely. Huh. Yeah, on that makes sense. The Saber's got. Honestly, enough. I think this is Saber's game. He's got a complete a poison for fourteen. Plus, I guess three off of the coup, so seventeen, and then whatever the yeah. best card is, which is. Probably only. Yeah. Probably not. And Gorfo found. Gorfo sounded really not looking great here. Mm, highly curious case. Now, a second remedy here would have been great, but oh, okay, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Is that really the best thing you can take? Ah. Uh, I, I think he has a Diplo, right? So in theory, he could have tried to high roll the poison, diplo, but that's maybe a... Play oh, diplo, a diplo. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, that, yeah, I think that's probably the best play, honestly. Yeah, I think Gorflo should have taken, taken a kill on the Dame earlier. I'm not sure yeah, for sure. Enough. Okay, a kill on one of the engines, at least. I think maybe a kill on the, one of the earlier engines, and then you wink on the Dame. And then what on the Dame? Uh, a wink. So a leader. Uh, oh, so right. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it wouldn't have made it any yeah. difference. Everyone right? has their secrets. So I was still a lot. Of them. Yep, and it's all she wrote. Yeah, this game savers. Yep. Okay, interesting first game. Yes, yeah, so I think. Uh... Yeah, Goldflow got hurt quite hard by his unfortunate Joachim round one. I think he would have probably been better off just yeah. playing a joust and then looking to pass himself. There you go. Yeah. But well, that's the end of game one. Okay, good. So, this is game number two of the Council Cup. We've had a few recording difficulties. Um, basically, the tournament client wouldn't let us get in to view it, so we're having to watch this from only one perspective now. So, we're on board with Sabre. Sabre is 1 0 up after winning the Nilfgaard Mirror, and it is. Uh, Warrior SK versus uh, what's score flows? Precision Strike Maddock Traps. Interesting. Yeah, so kind of a unitless deck versus the the Warriors deck. Um, certainly, if it gets to round three and Gorflow can keep last say, he is a, he's in a, he's going to be a very strong position, right? Um, but will Saber let him do that? Is indeed. Okay, Saber starts off with a uh, Raiders, I guess. Yep. 
David starts with the radar, just getting some damage down, ready to take out any of both flows threats not that GoFlow has many threats in fact he has no threats so i guess it wasn't really to deal with any threats it was just to get it on the board as a nice proactive play one good thing about warriors is they do have quite a few proactive plays right like they got totem they've got um double hunter he's also running because of the fact that you're running um blaze of glory you've got a bunch of targets for that right like great swords and things that are proactive so there is quite a lot of proactivity in this blaze of glory list <laughs> Whilst obviously they're also being quite a lot of damage too. Yeah. Um. So the thing about Gorfalo's list is he only has four bombs, so yep. he isn't able to just Madoc every turn, right? Um, Correct. Yeah. He doesn't have a number. So I, I think he'll want to kind of only be using one per round, mm. um, just because he wants to play in all three rounds, right? Um, to an extent, yeah. I mean, to be honest, if he wins round one, he's going to drive past round two anyway, right? So he can play two round That's one, two round three. Not ideal. Having, not ideal having to play the the protector front row because obviously he wants to play the boat back row and get the value yeah. off the protector. Not super ideal for him, but. At the same time, it's probably just going to get uh, murdered here anyway. So, yeah, we were rebuked or. Yeah. I wonder if Gorfo clicks the, clicks the pyro attack here. Yeah? Yes, there's no reason for him to. It kind of absorbs damage while it's on the board because if it goes below four points, it's just additional points yeah, for exactly. clicking it. Mm -hmm. And right now, essentially, Saber has one point to interact with, right? Because he doesn't want yeah. to hit the Maddock and yeah, can only deal one more damage to that Pyrotech before it becomes irrelevant. Nice value bomb there. Yeah. So it's, it's been worrying for Saber. He doesn't really have great cards here. I mean, his totem's going to play for a lot of points. Yeah, the totem's a nice card to have, obviously. Um, he also has, like, the eagles that he can probably get whatever he wants because he can most likely set it up. I mean, there's probably a lot of cards in Gorfler's hand that he doesn't really want to play. Um, yeah, I you mean, know, you're... you've got things like Ragnarug, you've got Dragon, you've got Tiger, obviously Gord. These are all cards Gord. you probably don't want to play. And but at the same time, play. you've got yeah. cards you can play, right? Like Forest Protector, Banairo, yeah. Traps, Satori. They're all okay to play. Yeah, true. And honestly, you're probably fine playing like a Tiger or a Dragon if it means you get Lassie. Oh, yeah. A Tiger yeah. here would actually be kind of good, right? It yeah. Would, uh... yeah, for sure. Oh. I think Ragnarok's the card that he probably least would want to play round one out of all those cards we've mentioned. But yeah, this is nice from GoFlow. It just puts some pressure on. Yeah, this is uh, looking bad for Mr. Saber. He does have the Raining Fleet, the, the Totem, even the Togvi. Yeah, I mean, he has points for sure. It's not like it's completely... The Raining Fleet doesn't feel great there, just because it's that's probably the best Togvi he's getting if he's playing it this round. Let's take the TA as well so that he's not up behind on even here. Makes some sense. Probably the best heat wave Gorfo is going to get, unless he gets last say. I guess there's also a great sword he could heat wave. Maddock not behaving. Um, but the bombs I are don't think coming in pretty much. Mines on the last Maddock, right? I don't think he's going to click it. So Most it likely not. He's got one more bomb left, right? But Yeah. Do I just play the Turg V now? Like, I know it's like. Technically, I guess not because like that bleeding is going to keep ticking through. Having yeah. to commit totem is a big card uh, though. It's a big commitment. Yeah. But the thing is, Gorflo is kind of used to all his answers for four points, right? So I think his totem goes off. I don't. He might have another rebuke, but I imagine a lot of his removal is out now. Yeah, most likely. 
And Maddox jumping back row means he can't actually play a tra uh, the horn, right? I guess he could offer Hattori, but... Yeah. He also doesn't want to play Hattori into Blood Eagle, so... That's true, he gives a very good Blood Eagle. Oh, that's okay. That's kind of nice. It doesn't... It does allow Sabre to, to pass here, though, but I don't think Sabre wants to give the round at all. No, I tend um, to agree, there. He's setting up the eagle. Yeah. Well, it's also it's... just the best target to hit, right? Because you're probably going to go Tugby on the... Uh... Yeah, true. So what's his eagle even pulling here? You've got Kyoma, but I don't... I think you, you could commit Heart Hyama here. Yeah, I'm just thinking what he got in his graveyard, but I guess he's got a 5, right? Killed a 5, so plays for 8. Yeah, it's just a, yeah, an 8. If there's a 5-point unit on the board, which it probably isn't. But... Yeah, that's true. So that's likely a horn. If it is a horn, he still has a pass, but of course, Flo commits one leader charge, obviously he doesn't. Full save it's pass, he has no reason to commit a leader charge yet. Mm -hmm. Toby comes down. Do we ever see Gorflow committing full leader to win this round? Do you think that's a line that's certainly a good line that you could take? Hmm. Not like obviously, I haven't played this matchup yet. Um, although it's fairly like it's a matchup that has been played for quite for quite some seasons, right? Like no unit gourd precision strike versus warrior sk now obviously they've all got a few new tools so not 100 percent sure how that'll play out but like it's definitely a line you can take as no units so saber still has the pass but ops not to take a big unit with uh with this eagle Mm -hmm. Often instead just to go for probably a berserker. Berserker one proc is too late. Oh, that's true. That's very true. It has to be a great sword. I think he might have messed up. There. Great sword, yeah, yeah, that's true. So great sword plays for five. Invader plays for five. Guess maybe you take yeah, invader. Yeah, invader. Yeah. Uh, you, no you could actually yeah. take the other guy. Could you? No, you can. You can. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't looking great for Sabre. Although he does get a kill on that, which is pretty big. Because it means it denies four points on the horn, right? Mm -hmm. I think Gorfo needs 14 points here. I mean, he's probably full leader, right? Yeah, it's probably full leader. Or pass. But where's that other card, I wonder? What is that other card? It's a Ragnarok. Okay, he... heat wave. Interesting. I what do I expect is a heat wave to come down on the nine, honestly. Um me expects last say. Mm. I feel like I I would have liked to see that heat wave to come down on the nine point boat. Mm -hmm. Same against the Harold, which is good. He needs the ice though. That's the main. Yeah, I mean ice would obviously is going to be pretty key. Yeah, Although I, he's not going to get blood this for it, so he will get his um his beagle probably on a Hattori at some point. He does mulligan it though. Still got the vibrate. That's true. He will probably draw it. Yeah. He's got a dry pass card here. I, I think it's very unlikely go for the players. Yeah. Yeah. So double last saying go for side. A lot of unitless points. Although horns committed, dragons committed. Uh, what else is unitless? Saber on? doesn't have that many proactive points either, right? Because ice isn't gonna discard because it, he's not gonna have any bloodthirst. True. Eagle may very well just be completely dead. Uh, so it's likely to go on a Hattori, right? 
can just place that as his next last card, right? I think he wants to get Horn, right? So I guess he can get Horn without after saber passes, but it's I mean, two he points can get worth. trap as well, right? Cushion trap. Like denying him any damage will be good. Like denying him Blood Eagle altogether will be very. Strong. Yeah, but both the traps are, are worse once. Saber's passed, right? They don't really Crushing go Crushing Trap isn't. Crushing when Trap When you have double asset. Yeah, okay. It goes on off at the end of your turn. Yeah. Pretty Cat obnoxious. Rebuke on Protector. Uh, wait. Is there a protector? I always yes. forget what my pass called. Yeah, okay. Um, is this Yama has nothing here. Feels kind of sad. He basically knows that he's never getting a target for that, right? So he's I was just a little saying, worried well, that, that Yama would shoot himself then when it made him discard something. Yeah, yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking great, no. Yes, you so, play Harold for the yeah, here. You... Yeah, and play it front row in the middle of the two. Yep. Maybe play Harold front row as well into it. Um mm -hmm. and then play protect in the middle. Yeah. He has to hope he gets a Blood Eagle or he's uh, not looking good here. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure Corflo won't give him one. No, pretty sure he won't. Uh, well, I think we might see like a bomb here, maybe. Mm -hmm. So that's one left. Um, yep. Let's give him uh, a Blood Eagle, though. That's give him a Blood Eagle, but it doesn't give him a good Blood Eagle, right? It doesn't give him the ice, which you'd like for his, his leader discard to get the 12 points on his board. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, it does. Oh, it does, of course. Yeah, it does. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's. Yeah, that's. I think that was a misplay by Gorfler. Yeah, I think that's a kind of a game losing misplay, I think. Honestly, like, that's, mm -hmm. that's big. Okay, so. Has Gorflo got 21 points in hand? Yeah, it's, it's very He possible, doesn't need right? 21, right? Because there's three more damage coming down from Oh, there's three. There is, yeah, there is three. 18. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he just needs true. Gord and a semi decent card. Looks Tori is so. that semi decent card, I think. That's, that's a crushing trap. Oh, wow. It doesn't. Oh, Ice coming in clutch there, giving him the extra. Uh... Yeah, extra three points. Oh! No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, no. I mean, that was really exciting. Uh, yeah, that was fun. It was a good game. Well, so it ends up with a tie. We'll, yeah. uh, I guess we'll uh, play another game and uh, see you guys back for that one. Okay, so we go into game number two for the second time. Yeah, again, so same matchup. Same coin. Yep, we'll see if Saber is able to take round one this time. That's going to be the deciding factor. Mm -hmm. um, sound looking very playable. Um, it's a lot of cards you, you can play, but no totem this time. Yep, totem being a big miss. Yeah, one of the few high end golds you can commit round one. Um, He really needs to find it to hmm. Ops not to take the mulligan and just says this hand's very playable. Yep. I'll just go down. It's basically an entirely playable hand, right? Which is kind of what he needs. Yeah, he's just gonna go to ten cards and if Gorflow Gorflow always has the ability to take with the leader, it just means he's gonna have to commit all every card in his hand, right? 
Mm -hmm. Gorflow doesn't necessarily have the ability to to take the rain, like because if he can't play till ten, then it could be very awkward for Gorflow. Yeah, exactly. He needs to put every card in his hand, which is not always possible. Mm -hmm. uh, D-Bomb comes out, Madok playing for a lot of points. Madok going back row is really good for Gopher. Yeah, it, it denies this boat, right? Mm -hmm. Or kind of helps deny this boat. As Gorfla, you could just opt to rebuke this, just say, well, I'll, I still have nothing to interact with on my board, Mr. Sabre. And he does. Sabre just saying, well, who cares if I interact with the Maddox now? I'm just going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Thing is with this four is that you don't really want to answer it um, with a bomb because you lose Maddox value. Uh, sort of. But the fact so, that it's got damage once means you get plus one, right, by playing your Yeah, you get, you get your plus one, but you're getting that anyway, right? Um, and So maybe a protector if he has it. He just chooses not to answer it. Okay. <laughs> So I think either protector's gonna come down on this um on this protector. Forest protector's gonna come down on this uh He may protector? Yeah. Or Or he doesn't have it. I think it's very unlikely he lets this live. It's kind of an annoying card. Although it is front row. It looks like no protector. No protector, so you're sure you would commit the protector rather than Yeah. Oh definitely. This Berserker feels bad to play because if it gets sniped by the Pyro tech, it's kind of awkward, right? Mm -hmm. But the alternatives so, but... aren't great either. Yeah, there's no. The Greysword and uh, Hunter have the same problem. Misses mm -hmm. um, the snipe, though. Which is very good for Saber. Yep. And it doesn't look like he has Protector, right? So he's going to have to bomb. Doesn't feel very good. He's considering whether he wants to go back row yet. Besides no, he can just play this first. Yeah, I think the, the read is that there's no more removal, really, on Gorfo's side, besides maybe more bombs. Mm -hmm. uh, which are not great with this Malak being back row. Malak really not behaving in this game. Well, he's clogging up that back row, right? Which is nice for him. That's that's true. Um, Obviously, it would be nice if he could get it front row to get the extra value. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that it jumped back row, first of all, is good for him. Ooh, is that Ragnarok? That is Ragnarok, yeah. Round one. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it if you're going to win the round, right? Um, could be, but I mean... Be a charge. I'm not... Saber can just let, leave that now and just not play anything else front row. I mean, obviously he's probably got the Dragoon, I would assume, if he's making that play. Yeah, I'm I'm confused of why the... Oh, I guess... We'll oh, skip ahead okay. to stop him from passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the pass. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um... Alright, so Saber... Now has to just play the boat. If Gorflow play doesn't play another unit, this is really bad for Saber, right? He can't play mm -hmm. either of his cards. Mm -hmm. Um, although I think Gorflow might have either a making a bomb or a dragoon here. Making a bomb puts a Maddock on the board as something to interact with, and Dragoon obviously does too. Um It'd be a very interesting read if uh, Gorflow makes the read that it's raiding fleet beagle, but I don't think he. Yeah, I mean, is if that's the read, hard. then you would play like a heat wave here if you have it right. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to put if you put no units on the board. This just Saber has to discard or give the round right. But at the same time, very... if 
Core Flow's hand is like Heat Wave, uh, Gord, maybe, I don't know, Serpent Trap or something like that, something he can't actually play, then it's a bit awkward for him, right? That's maybe. Right. So it is something to interact with on his board, so that is okay for Sabre. Gives him the Blood Eagle. Uh, mm -hmm. Interesting to see which one he takes here. I'd imagine it's the Blood Eagle, but could also be the Raiding Fleet. What'd you take it for, though? I don't know at this point. Maybe mm, he's also the Raiding Fleet. He says that Bleed's going to get value because that Horn's going to pop. Uh, it's going to yeah. get well, it's going to get due anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's going to kill the Hattori, right? So. Yeah. And he's saying that he can get the Eagle anyway with this much damage on the board, so. Takes the ping. He's likely not going to get a target next turn, so it's fair enough. Actually, yeah. And that does actually kill the Hattori now, because the Hattori wouldn't die from the bleed, because Horn would pop before the last bleed. Mm -hmm. So that does make sure it dies, at least. Is Ragnarug not actually playing for that many points? Yeah, Ragnarug's been a little sad here. Ah, it's a crashing trap, not a horn. Gorflo is still ahead here, but he also has a full Blood Eagle. But I think what you probably do is take Great Sword off a of Blood Eagle. No, he's going to opt to do this and play something mm. off with Blood Eagle. Interesting. What does he take? I don't like see anything that's like very good. Mm -hmm. Or at all good. Um, I mean, most most. Points he's going to get here is five. Yeah, Race six. Could have been six. Yeah. Maybe you just didn't see the line. Possibly, possibly. Maybe he's got something else in mind, uh, but I don't think there is anything else. Takes the ice. Okay, he does have something else in mind. That's very interesting. Right, so Gorflo, if I think if Gorflo can take this with full leader, he's in a very good position. You do have to bear in mind that anything he kills will come back with any will come back with um Uh it won't, right? Because it's uh, on his turn rather than Oh right. Turn. Yeah. So he's fine to do that part. So how many points do you have on leader he has? Four, um, six, uh Or you can just do that. Ten. Yeah, so he has yeah, he takes it here. I think he's in a really good position now. Like it's basically the same position as last time, except uh, no gourd, but no leader on Saber, Saber's side. Mm -hmm. No leader ice, which means in terms of points, Saber could put on his own side of the board. It's, it's not he has much. Totem, right? it's, yeah, it has totem. Yeah, but I, the thing is, Gorflo still has protector. He still has his bombs. So a There's little bit one of that. bomb left, I believe. He has dragon though. I think it has two. Maybe, maybe one. I'm not sure. I think, honestly, playing Yama on this drain pass might be correct. Like, I think... Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I think you play Yama here. Yeah, Seva agrees. Uh, plays a Yama. Yeah, two bombs left. Yeah, this is looking really like we'll get to see the uh, fourth game of this series. Mm -hmm. uh, really good position for Gorfa. Not a terrible hand for Sabre. Well, he's really like to find that totem. Ah, the misses the totem. That's really bad. Uh, the Raiders kind of would have been nice as well. Some of his best... Um, points on his own board, right? Yep. Turk V, that sort of thing. Um, uh, at least that dragon will soak up some Harold things, I guess. I think you just go, ha I think you go Harold into Greatsword here. Greatsword, yeah. 
But also be Berserker. Berserker, yeah. Damages the, the dragon, so. Mm -hmm. Kind of fork score flows removal as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good line, actually. Is playing it in oh, different rules good? Uh, I mean... Uh, yes, right, because it denies points on the bomb. The making a bomb. Um, and yep. cat is out. Makes so, sense. Makes sense. Yeah. You do play Makes into um, second into Maddock if he has both bombs, I guess. Now. That's that's true. But I mean, you might like you had a fifty fifty playing into it anyway, right? You don't know yeah. what rule Maddock's going to jump to, and you yeah. don't know if he's got two bombs in hand. Yeah. And either way, if he's got two bombs in his hand, he has a making a bomb in the hand. So. This is true. <laughs> Nice, getting the pings on the dragon. Yeah, that's really good. But a protector here is really bad. And he still has a Naira, right? He played it round one, I think. Yeah. I think so. Ooh. Oh, just uh, springs to the the trap. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So Blood Eagle comes down, taking a raider. Seems good. It's a bit unfortunate, especially unfortunate if Gorflo has another bomb. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. imagine if Seva here had Totem instead of that zero point getting slashed that he discarded. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's actually in a okay position if he if he has that. Not sure, but certainly in a better position. Yeah. I have eight more points here. Eventually. So eventually that's a um, a crushing trap on Go close side, wait. Or oh, horn. Horn would have activated it by now, right? Oh right, yeah. Save a pass. Key waves come down, it comes down with seven. Yes, yeah, so it's looking like. Yeah. Go for this game. Mm -hmm. so Alrighty, we'll. Go to a game three. Yeah, or game four. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this is game number four, the final <laughs> for all the marbles. And it is. Marbles. It is. SK Warriors versus. NG Ball Tactics. Yeah. So, a card that's going to be really interesting here is the Cadaverian, right? Mm -hmm. um, on on Gorflo's side. Yeah, for so sure. So, it will be interesting to see if he gets last say. If he gets last say, that on Yuta is going to be really big. I mean, is it because you can't poison it, right? That's so, true. I guess you can't double. You can't poison yeah, it twice. So you kind of just... Yeah, that's true. Leader on on yet is pretty good though. Uh, wrong leader. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, so the veil the veil uh, TA is actually kind of nice here, right? Because it prevents opening um that raiding fleet. Mm hmm. Up some Radiant Fleet opener. It also sets up some damage for Gorflow. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, any, any, anything that Gorflow wants to play here kind of just gets answered. Saber. Ah, oh, Saber wants to play, yeah. Sorry. There are no um, Yoink. yoink um, what it's called. Sadly not. Amnesties. Uh, this will be answered probably with a joust or a uh, coat of weapons, I'd expect. Mm -hmm. So both players really want to get round control. Um, be very nice if we can get last day in a long round. Besides so to just take the coup, which I don't actually hate. I think that, that's kind of no, nice. That's kind of good, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you don't want to play into round two. I don't think he's going to be playing into round two either way here. Exactly. This game, so. And you're never playing your Roderick or Joachim in this round, I don't think. So, mm -hmm. 
yeah, really, really solid play. Let's go, Flo. I think you can sort of just let that be. Um, yeah, I think you just answer the protector, right? You you don't care about the. Yeah, the I mean, it, it is plus one on the great sword when the great sword comes down, but that's fine. You've got five points of damage. It's not too bad, especially with double engine on board. I think you can just uh, answer everything at the scales off of the boat rather than the boat exactly. itself. Yeah, but I mean, it does depend on how much removal you have in hand. Yeah, I suppose. Joust coming down, just boosting up that uh, mm -hmm. hunter. Um, so I imagine Gorfler has a fair amount of damage in his hand. Uh, yeah, you would probably expect so. Protector probably just gets slammed by coated weapons. Oh, copied. Interesting. That's pretty good for Gorfler, actually. Mm -hmm. Could have finished the so boat off there. He could have done this true. Uh, I guess he values the removal potentially more. I guess. Mm -hmm. And the boat's also disabled from the protector right now, right? Uh, it's not next to it, which is kind of nice. It does still scale with the greatsword? Yep, for sure. This is looking pretty okay for core flow, though. Yeah, it's not looking bad. Comfortably ahead with um, some engines on the board, right? Mm -hmm. Saber does have a pretty scary hand, though. He does have some good stuff to play. Yeah, yeah. The, the Berserker is like a really strong bronze, and then you have the Totem, the Blood Eagle, the Togavi. Mm -hmm. Being as a Totem, though, it's only eight points tempo, so yeah. it isn't too scary in terms of its actual tempo output. And Goflo should have a lot of ways of countering this. He's got a bunch of spies, he's got damage, he's got also he's got locks. Yeah, and code weapons would be very good here, right? Because it'd force a fanatic onto uh, Saber's yeah. deck which would not be great for Saber. Indeed. So I wonder what Gorfle chooses to do here. I know. Menno, pro oh Brathens, okay. Brathens is another way to counter that, I guess. Um gets another protector, I guess. Yeah. So now that totem is only plus one on clicking it. Mm-hmm. And you feel okay committing the Brathens after totems come down. Like Brathens is a better card than Totem, especially in this matchup. But you have got a totem out of your opponent before you commit the Brethens, so... Yeah. Not like you threw away the Brethens for nothing. Yeah, I think the Brethens is fine to commit here. Um, there's no great target later either, right? Because generally, um, all the SK cards are veteran, and so they're kind of mm -hmm. not that strong yoinks from, from Brethens that, later. That was a really unfortunate ping for Saber. The worst yeah, it's the, it's the one between the two protectors, right? Ooh, not good. Oh, that's nice for Gorflo. Yep. Ooh, and the cheeky beast synergy with the hunter, giving it another yeah. thing for next turn. I wonder if Gorflo realized that before he uh, played it. <laughs> Interesting. Knowing Gorflo, he does, he knows all yeah. the nuances of. This... All the weird lines, yeah. yeah. He sees, he sees all. Ah, friendly the. And that's why he's in the Council Cup final, and neither of us are, right? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Although I'm not in the final because you've messed up the recording on the game I beat Saber, but let's not worry about that. Um... <laughs> yeah, it was the first time you'd ever beaten Saber or something like that, right? I uh, know it was. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um... He gave yeah, you a so, freebie off off stream, and then uh... <laughs> it was it was on recording. You just messed up the audio. Um, <laughs> right. So don't believe a word he says. Interesting ping there from Gorflo. Gives the protector an extra point. Not sure 
Why? I have no idea what that card does. Damages the unit to the r r left or right, and then heals the one to the other side. But okay. I guess it damages the unit to the right and heals the one to the left because it didn't damage the dog. Yeah. Just a five point card. Um, yeah. But I mean, it was like six, right? Because it gave him another charge on his. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think Gorfler's got some... the round. Yeah, it's certainly looking pretty good for him. I, I, yeah, I, I don't think Saber can even do it some two points, right? And uh, two cards, right? Uh, let's look if he plays for um, nine. Saber Blood certainly, Eagle. Certainly thinks he can. Interesting. Um, hmm. Takes the Berserker. I suppose Berserker has a lot of points here. Mm. Yeah, he can. He yeah. can. Unless he hits the, the four. <laughs> Uh, the, the hunter with the berserker things, that'd be unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you still take that. it, right? Hold on to that lock this whole time. Interesting. Yep. Lock. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so, if Gorflo has ball last card or some other card he doesn't want to play, this could be kind of awkward. It could. But if he has a card that he wants to play, then it's he's made some pretty good trades towards the end of this. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think Saber's just saying it's ball. Bondric? He's like one card he can't play. Ooh, Nano, man. wow, that is a, such a playable hand. Why are you taking? Oh, oh, oh! Joust. <laughs> yeah, uh, not that it matters because that would. Yeah, Saber wasn't getting a. Would getting clog a... have been enough if you'd have clogged him there? Because yeah, I think so. But then again, the you know, Gorflo doesn't know for sure that the, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's sure. Good, right? Yeah, that joust was very good. Indeed. Very cool play. Yeah, so just has a dry pass card, has two of his other important cards, decides so not to take any mulligans, makes sense. Gorflo's looking good here. I'm also looking good, guys. Don't know if you've noticed. King Jazz is not looking very good. But yeah, it's certainly this is the situation you want to be in for, for Goreflo. He's the one who hit his macro this game, right? He won round one, he gets last save, yep. he forces a fairly longish round three. One upside for, for Sabre is the round three isn't super long and he still has his ice, he still has his Harold, and he's drawn a juicer of a hand, so. Yeah. Uh... Gorflo probably making use of the mulligans to get rid of all his unplayable cards around one is very good for him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely zero unplayable cards. It's very unlike ball. Like usually have a. One I think or two these rate. new ball decks generally have less unplayable cards, right? Because, like, especially with the Emir variant, I know Gorflo isn't running that, but you can actually then start committing your. You spy an aristocrats round one, right? Because you have more aristocrats in the deck. You've got the seditious aristocrats as well. Um, yeah. Gorflo isn't running any of them, so he does have to be a bit more careful with those spying aristocrats. And he also didn't find like one one poison. Like he had mm -hmm. zero poison. Yep. Generally, you'll have one poison in hand, right? And then if you don't find that, find the pair in one by your last mulligan, you just mull that, the one away. Yeah. But quite often, you will have either zero or two, right? Because that's yeah. normally the line. Unless you find a poison on the last mole, which does happen from time to time. Although, to be fair, I don't think he did He did do that because he had the meno, right? So he could have rain. Um, in theory, he had one poison off the meno. Ah, oh, that's so, true. Uh, it is a tactic, yeah. yeah. Probably would have just not drawn any. Um, he is only running two, though, right? Not running... Yeah, up yeah that's true. No cup error, yeah. Takes the Onik on the boat. Decides that that ping on the boat is too threatening on the hefty Helg. I could certainly see it. This Helg's going to live for at least one turn now. Yep. Smart play from Gorflo. Um. So he can just play a tactic and Ooh, uh, that's such a low kill the Harold. Roll. Such a low yeah. roll for Saber. And Gorflo, depending on his hand, could actually this Harold because he does have a warrior in the grave. Oh yeah, true, 
true, true, true. Denying an engine. Um, you can also board wipe here, right? Because he can joust the four or like yeah, kill it with any tank. Yeah, yeah. But any tactic damage, any damage tactic. Yeah. And then, but didn't he play know, double one... chase frame one? I think he played double chase. He did, he did play double chase. Yeah, he did. So he has coded one weapons. coded weapons left. Besides that, oh, there's no reason to rush into tactics. So I think what that. he should do so... here is take the ping from his boat onto the four. Yes, potentially. Deny nice... random damage yep. on the dog. Yep. Yeah, I could see it. Because yeah, it's the same value, it. right? It's the same amount of points. Yeah. I think he missed a trick there. Yeah, uh, I mean, it probably yeah, wouldn't have mattered in the end. But... Okay, so now he wants to probably remove stuff. So probably the Herald. I wonder if he has the coup here. I mean, definitely has. He played around one. Okay, yeah. I wonder if he has the ability to coup, if he's missing things, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, he might, might, to... might have, like, a, a Roderick that he needs to coup, or maybe he's just decided that, you know what, Joachim's better to coup than Harold anyway, which is entirely possible. Yeah, yeah. Although a protector How... is pretty good, right? Because, like, it soaks up a load of these random pings. Like, yeah, if you, you had it, you could... on your board as well, yeah. right? Like... Yeah, yeah, I think I think if he had it, I would have taken it to. Oh, before he's taking. Him. I think. Or not. That's interesting. Um, Another just random tactic here. Ooh. Yeah. Well, maybe no tactic. Maybe he doesn't have a tactic. That's interesting. Surprised by that line, don't you just yen the Harold? I guess you've got Joachim, but you like you actually have a Joachim target, right? Like it's you got a. Oh no! Did he have, wait? Was he looking for something there, or did he just? Who? A uh, saber. Was there any card he's missing? I don't think so, right? No. Why? Because he uh, yeah yeah he, he killed his um his one. So I was thinking he can't uh, with when he played Babylon. So if he had something he's looking for, he couldn't get the bloody. Oh right! No, I don't think so. Okay. Everything. That's fine then. That's absolutely fine. Then. Looks like Gorflow drew pretty badly here. Yeah, these draws are looking great, and that is kind of the price you pay for mulliganing your unplayable cards away around one, right? You kind of you want them eventually, right? Um, yep. If you don't draw them, that's kind of sad. It's the bloodthirst, but pinged it off, so the ice is not actually going to have any bloodthirst. Yeah. Thing. Yep. Unless uh, Harold, I mean, I, really. I mean, I guess Harold in theory could set it up next turn when he plays Iced. Or does he have to have the uh, oh, yeah. okay. yeah, deploy? Okay. That's a nice card for Goflo to have. Yeah, so this is going to be quite a lot of points, though. Place for 19, this leader. So. Yeah. Pretty big. Gorflow is going to have to have a massive card here, and I don't think he does. Oh, Cadaver in place with 12. Ooh. Two points shy. Yeah. That was not a good hand from Gorflow. No, it was a really awkward round three hand. But there we go. That is the Council Cup wrapped up. Very exciting final game there with only two points in it between Sabre and Gorflow. Um, a four game series hope you guys really enjoyed this um not sure we'll do this again because it was really difficult for us to set up maybe if they fix the tournament client we can do it again in the future potentially or if we get new members or, or whatever but uh that's the first council cup in the books hope you guys enjoyed it and uh until next time see you then see you later.